So we also need to know how many black nodes we have as we go down the tree. And we can use a nice recursive method. So here, let's say public int black nodes. And we're going to start at some point. Presumably, at some point in the code, we'll be given the root node and we'll be asked to calculate the number of black nodes underneath the root node. So, of course, what we have to do in our tree is we have to go down the left child and ask, how many blacks do you have? And then we go down the right node, and the right child, and ask, how many black nodes do you have? Remember, one of the rules of red-black trees is that null nodes are black. So if we have a null node, we don't need to go left or right because there's nothing else to do, but we know that it's a black node, so we just return one. So now, let's just calculate how many black nodes there are on the right-hand side of our tree. So int the black nodes on the right-hand side, and we'll just call ourselves because we know how to do it. So we're going to say node dot right, okay? And we can ask how many black nodes there are on the left-hand side of the tree. So black nodes is nodes dot left. One of the things that we should do and say if right blacks does not equal left black nodes, we should probably throw an error here. Or fix the tree. Okay, we need to know if the number of nodes, number of black nodes on our left side and the number of black nodes on our right side is not the same. We need to do something. Otherwise, if the number of left nodes and the number of uh, sorry, if the number of left black nodes and the number of right black nodes are the same, we need to say, are we a black node? So if node dot black, then we need to increment one of these. It doesn't matter which one we increment; they're the same, right? But let's just say uh, left black nodes plus plus and return it. And then we have a nice recursive method that takes our root node, starts with our root node, we'll go through the whole tree, first counting the number of black nodes on the right, then counting the number of black nodes on the left, comparing them to make sure they're the same, incrementing them if possible, and returning the number.